Hello everybody, my name is Dave Whipple and you're watching Bush Radical and I found some great stuff yard sailing today. Stay tuned. Let me show you guys what I found yard sailing today. I think you're just going to be blown away. Let's check it out. First of all, I got this three burner vintage Coleman stove for 10 bucks. But I really didn't pay 10 bucks for it because I also got a two quart pot and four, excuse me, two compasses. But check this stove up. Now I love Coleman stoves, but I've never seen this model before. Never. You hear the neighbor's sled dogs going nuts. This model is actually, it's all aluminum. It's, it's like a little cheap smoker, the texture of it. I've been to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of flea markets and thousands of yard sales, but I've never run across a piece of Coleman gear that was made out of this, this stamped aluminum type of stuff. And the stand that it sits on, it folds up and goes inside of the stove itself. Granted, it is a little tricky to fold it up. Just like that. It's got two separate grates, which is cool because I've never seen two separate grates. Not only does the stand fit right up underneath the burners, like so, there's enough room for an entire can of Coleman fuel and the fuel tank. Pretty sweet, huh? Turns out it was a really good day for stoves. And just hot stuff. Check it out. Picked up a nice propane tank for five bucks, which is great because I was needing a propane tank. I also picked up this tent stove. Now this is the exact same stove that Brooke and I have had in our wall tent for the last three summers. I've been using this stove to make coffee for years and years, but the one we've had is rusty and it's wore out and it's just not in that great of shape. This one's brand new. Got all the uh, collapsible pipe in here that's all tapered, fits together and goes right in here. 20 bucks. Fantastic. So I was out yard sailing in Esther and stopped into the community hall yard sale and uh, I found this box of miscellaneous camping gear and uh, this is one of the best scores I've seen in a long time. I'm gonna run through this really fast but you're gonna love this. Can of bear spray, another can of bear spray, another can of bear spray, another. $40 can of bear spray, butane stove fuel, flare kit, uh, <laughs> emergency toilet paper, Okay, more stove fuel, butane, brand new bug dope. Very important up here, another brand new bug dope. Another, almost new, bug dope. Another brand new bug dope, candle lantern, whole box of candles, backpack size bug dope, can of snow seal, another can of snow seal. Huh. Yet another can of snow seal, two quart pot, Dones bar, very nice compass, another nice compass, another nice compass, another nice compass, some odds and ends, REI towel, uh, seals, same sealing kit, some kind. Big yellow funnel. Little yellow Coleman funnel. Ooh, sharpening stone. Another brand new can of bug dope. A uh, little waterproof container, it's empty. Emergency whistle and some cord. Thing of shoe goo. Bunch of tent stuff. Water purification tablet. More water purification tablet. Signaling mirror. A whole bunch of waterproof match. Package of mole skin for hikers. Another package of mole skin for hikers. Another package of mole skin for hikers. Plastic shovel, camp soap, folding saw, more bug dope. This is actually wipes. This is repel mosquito wipe. Another bag of wipes. Emergency space blanket, tent patch kit, little brush. I guess it's for beard work. I don't know. A spork, more bug dope. Little tiny funnel for, did I say that? This is for lanterns anyway. That's a big pile of stuff. And for $20, I mean seriously, one can of bear spray is gonna get you right up around 40 bucks. These are all new. Ain't nobody been spraying any bears with these things. They're full. The expiration dates are even good on most of these, like that matters. Why don't you go find yourself an old can of bear spray and take one in the face and see if it really matters if it's expired. I bet it don't. All of these goodies for 20 bucks. Oh, wait a minute. Mosquito head net. Not a bad thing to have in some places. Now a lot of this stuff is stuff that I would never personally use because it's, uh, it's lots of stuff that's I just wouldn't take. I kind of like a little more minimalistic way of camping. But I gotta say, all of it's useful, all of it costs money, and today I got all of it for 20 bucks. I'm coming up here, Brooke is doing her Girl in the Woods uh, survival workshop. So I bought all this stuff for her. It was a great deal for her, it's a great deal for me. Uh, lots of cool stuff, lots of goodies. It's just fun to paw through that much stuff 
It's like going to the Koglin shelf at like a, a sporting goods store and just taking one of everything. That's kind of what it looks like here. Head over to www.brookanddavidwhipple.com if you want to sign up for her trip and you're a woman because it's a women's only. You can also hit the link below and get some more information on that. Oh, there's a first aid kit that goes with this too. And like a reflector, it's kind of like a bring it with you heat reflector for a campfire. Man, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, check this out. It's a 1950s or 1960s Roy Schmeck ukulele by Harmony. Sweet, these things are actually really awesome. This is made in Chicago by the Harmony Company. This beauty cost me $10. This is probably uh, mid 50s, late 50s, early 60s, maybe possibly late 60s, but it wouldn't be any newer than that. And these things have a mahogany back, mahogany sides, and mahogany top. Not laminate, this is solid mahogany. So a cheap instrument, but an American-made instrument. This was a $10 bill. I was stoked to get it. You didn't know I played the ukulele? Against the Wind by Bob Seger on a ukulele. Anyway, let's check some other stuff out. I also got this cool Tele Thin Line. This isn't a Telecaster for all you musicians out there. This is some unholy off-brand knockoff, probably a piece of junk, but it's got a decent neck. It feels pretty good. A $20 bill, there's never been a day where I would pass up a Telecaster for 20 bucks. 20 bucks sold. Oh yeah, one more instrument and then I'll show you guys an axe. This is a Taro brand, which is probably made in Japan or Korea. This is a lawsuit era Dove knockoff. What that means is that in the 70s, people made guitars that looked exactly like Gibsons and Martins and Fenders. They made them in Japan and Korea, and, and uh, they, they used the same headstock that the American companies did. They got sued. The ones that still are out there that have, this would be a Gibson profile headstock, they're called lawsuit models. Regardless of the name, who made it, where it come from, this is what's considered a lawsuit model. So it's kind of cool just in and of that. It has a couple broken braces. It's kind of a grungy guitar, but it was a $25 guitar. And I've been jonesing for a new guitar because I buy a lot of guitars. And it uh, needs a lot of work. But it's got potential. Nothing wrong with that. Paid 10 bucks for the case, so I've got $35 into this. So all told, I'm like up to maybe 105 bucks on my yard sale in day. And there's one more thing I gotta show you guys. No more musical instruments, I'm sorry for taking you that way. Let me show you guys an ax. And I mean a real one. Also today I got this awesome fireman's ax. This is a vintage true temper fireman's ax on what's probably the original handle. I'm not sure, I mean, it, it looks, it's got the right profile. Probably about a six or a seven pound head. It's a massive head. True temper, Kelly works. Fantastic head. You know, this handle's usable. It's got some splits. It's, it's, it's gonna fail. But for right now, you know, it's solid. This is nothing I would trust for any amount of time. You really don't want to take a fireman's ax with you anyway. This sucker's ridiculously heavy. I mean, this axe is an axe. That's a $5 bill today. What a wonderful day to yard sale. First time I've been able to do it all year. I took the road trip up here about a month and some change ago. Been working like a borrowed mule for weeks and weeks. And it seems like it's always like, I pour concrete by the way, so it's like rain on a Monday or no work on a Tuesday because nothing's ready and then work a Saturday and a Sunday. I worked Memorial Day this year. That's stupid. So I finally got to go yard sailing today and uh, had a lot of luck. Had a lot of good stuff. Met a lot of cool people. Saw some country. Wasn't pouring concrete on a Saturday for a change. That was a big plus. And I love a good yard sale. I know you guys love a good yard sale. I know you guys love cool stuff, old stuff, vintage stuff, outdoor stuff. I just wanted to show you what I found. Thank you guys so much for watching Bush Radical. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell right next to it to give you updates when I post videos. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Dave Whipple, and you've been watching Bush Radical. And be radical, eh? See you soon.